How did it go? You just want friends. Oh, that's... I'm sorry. Oh, I brought in skill to level 5. Holy moly, I didn't even know I can go into 5. How did it go? I want... You also want coffee. Oh, I'd love some coffee right now. That'd be so good. Ooh, loot. Just robes. Darn it. And books. Hot to go. Only if we can be friends. Yeah, sure. Make me coffee. I'll be friends with you for the rest of my life. <laughs> wow. Yeah, just as long as you do everything in the relationship and I don't have to do anything, it's fine. <laughs> okay, bye. Cheers, hot dead girl. Thanks for stopping by. Enjoy your day. Okay, let's sort out the rest of this place. I think we've got everyone down there. Um, now where's this guy? Oh crap, 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 crap! Um, um, I wanted to see that. The Prima Cora mural is a work of art which you have only heard rumors about. It records all human history in one vast display of gaudy colors. At the beginning of the display, you see the image of Charles Darwin walking arm in arm with an ape in a wedding dress. Next to that, you see a youthful Egyptian pharaoh in mummy wrappings and a gold mask dancing on the stage of a place called, according to the neon lights behind him, Radio City Museum of Unnatural History. Proceeding along, you see a masked man brandishing silver six-shooters on the back of a silver Tyrannosaurus, hot on the trail of a mustachioed man wearing a swastika. A fat man in a red uniform with white trim flies through the sky in a sleigh pulled by eight <laughs> F-19 stealth bombers. He has bags full of guns, ammo, and bombs, which he is freely dropping down to King Arthur and his knights so they can battle Genghis Khan and the Yellow Peril. Yet further on, a man in a green and gold uniform with the number 12 emblazoned on it and a G on the helmet has just thrown a missile to a man vanishing in the white glow of an atomic mushroom cloud. Finally, at the far end of the wall, the Prima Cora mural Sorry is a about that. art which you have only heard rumors about. It records all human history in one vast display of gaudy colors. At the beginning of the display, you see the image of Charles Darwin walking arm in arm with an ape in a wedding dress. Next to that, you see a youthful Egyptian pharaoh in mummy wrappings and a gold mask dancing on the stage of a place called, according to the neon lights behind him, Radio City Museum of Unnatural History. Proceeding along, you see a masked man brandishing silver six-shooters on the back of a silver Tyrannosaurus, hot on the trail of a mustachioed man wearing a swastika. A fat man in a red uniform with white trim flies through the sky in a sleigh pulled by eight F-19 stealth bombers. He has bags full of guns, ammo, and bombs, which he is freely dropping down to King Arthur and his knights so they can battle Genghis Khan and the Yellow Peril. Yet further on, a man in a green and gold uniform with the number 12 emblazoned on it and a G on the helmet has just thrown a missile to a man vanishing in the white glow of an atomic mushroom cloud. Finally, at the far end of the wall, 
you see the ape in its tattered wedding dress, squatting and studying the fire-blackened helmet. Oh no, Charles Darwin lost his wife. I mean, the wife of Charles Darwin lost whatever. You know what I mean. <laughs> and if you don't, it's not important. Just like everything on this channel. Um, where's this guy? So apparently I've heard rumors of this place, but I haven't. Oh wait, wait, he should probably heal me. And Christina can attack. Christina raised her brawling skill to level 6. Holy moly. I'm so OP now. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, Ace, use your doctor skill on Burden. So I think these guys are dying a bit, eh? Wait. Ah, dead weight. Come on. Oh cool, skill level went up for doctoring. And his skill isn't doctored. <laughs> uh. Cool. Um let's get out of flips. It's not what I wanted to do. Nearly all of this guy's skills. Uh, medic to one, everything else, I don't really care. Okay, use four one one three, four one one three. Okay, let's get out of here. Come on, I just want to heal. Can you imagine trying to pay for healing in this game and not expecting to be bankrupt by this stage? I can't. But mainly that's because I don't have much of an imagination. I can't stretch it that far. Uh, guardian vessel. Splinters and fragments of wood hang upon five black hinges are all that remain of the door that was once here. <laughs> Brother Wheeze, he's the fat one. Cause he wheezes. Ha ha ha. Oh crap, um, that didn't go very well, did it? Uh. 
Done. Does Bedin have a duct skill? Uh, he's got a medic skill, but only one. I mean, why not try it, eh? Six, one, four, two. Six, one, four, two. Six, one, four, two. No. Six, one, four, two. So that's just too much for you, Bedin. Understandable. Christina, I'm sure I gave her a doctor skill. Yeah, I did. Cool. Three, one, three, two. Three, one, one, two. Three, one, one, four. Three, one, one, five. Three, one, one, five. Um. Ah, wrong button. One, one. One five user one one five seven one 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 seven. There we are. Come on, hit him. Oh dear. Christina! Doctor on me! Uh, stop disobeying me! I've been good to you, have I not? But um, he doesn't have a doctor skill. Maybe I should try his medic skill? I don't know. Five, uh, six, one, four, three, six, one, four, three, six, one, four, three, six, one, four, three. Six, one, four, three. No, you can't. Okay, burden, just encounter. Uh, covenant. One, one, three. There we are. Misfortune. Wait, she doesn't have a skill. Never mind. Ace. <laughs> two, one, one, four. Two, one, one, four. Come on, Ace, you're not doing any damage. Why not? Could it be because you don't like me anymore? Whoops. Six, one, four, two. Ugh. Six, one, four, two. Six, one, four, two. Six one four two. Yay, it worked. You see, you did enough, and you're good to go. Six. Sorry. Damn it, stop disobeying me, come on. She missed four times in a row. Are you kidding me? Oh, we killed someone. Finally. Let's run away. Uh, dead weight. Do you have a... No, you don't. Cool. 
Ace is alive now. Two, one, one, three. Two, one, one, three. Two, one, one, seven. Two, one, one, seven. Go. Sure, that took a while. Really? You all missed? Like, everyone's healed up. Did anyone level up? Huh. Yeah. I love how there's a turret at the top of the citadel that can't hit me. It's pretty funny. Man, this chick is not messing around. June, May, and April. Okay. Why do all these nuns and guys, priests, have code names? Ace, you can actually use your skill on me. Christina can also use a skill on Covenant. Okay, Ace. Try that again. Christina. Try heal dead weight again. Oh, cool. whoops, use a skill, Doctor on Deadweight, use your skill, Doctor on Misfortune. Come on. Stop trying to heal her and heal her. There we go, I knew he could. He's just being a little brat. Yay, killed her. First time. I uh, should probably try and blow a hole through here. Oh, I can't. Ace is dead. Lol. Yay, another shortcut. I know.
try this one weird trick to restore your constitution to maximum. Doctors hate it. Okay. Let's investigate this room a little more. The lights are off in the case, and the smoky glass makes it nearly impossible to see what is inside. Weird. A bank of sweet stained oven stands here. Oh, James, my bro. So why can't they have something cool like power armor? Here go a bold bare hand is written less filling. Huh? Delicately painted on this wall are the words taste great. Artistically inscribed at eye level are the words we're never true, but we try harder. <laughs> Splashed in the wall with red paint is a legend We're looking for a few good men. Piously written as well as the saying, reach out and touch someone. Piously written. Okay, um... Oh, Alta Sanctum, no. We're not quite done yet. Oh, hello, Sister Roth. You look like you're from a different religion. Should have used this as my thumbnail. <laughs> uh. Oh, someone is loose. Seriously injured. Uh, burden. He's fine now. Ow! Austin? Why does that name sound familiar? What am I thinking of? Austin Powers, maybe? I never watched Austin Powers, so not, I don't think so. An eye on Beamer. Okay, Beamer. Um, Covenant reaches pugilism skill to level four. That's good. Uh, what should I? I don't know if I should equip this iron thing. Ion, not iron. Dumbass. Um. Hmm. Let's go see if anyone has enough skill. Ugh. Ugh, I've leveled up again. Ugh. Such a burden. Let's go to the library quickly. I need to see if I can get anyone to get energy weapons. I mean, I can't. And my IQ is pretty high, like level 30. Point sixty four to level up my brawling. Whoa, that's pretty crazy. I'm sure there's a skill for energy weapons. Um, IQ. Demolition, sleight of hand. Huh. 
Um, energy weapons? I thought there was a skill. I could have sworn I saw something. Let's check the weapons area. Short range weapons, medium range weapons. They didn't even have the iron beam thing listed. Hmm. I'm just gonna give it to someone, but I don't know who. Also, I've got all the IQ points then. So, what should I learn? I could do cryptology, and metallurgy. Um, and picklock. Okay, ace. Acrobat, just because why not? Confidence, because why not? Sleight of hand of forgery. Bureaucracy, because he's always disobeying me. Safe crack, seven. Don't have enough points for that. Forgery, whatever. Christina. Uh, confidence, why not? Acrobat, I don't know if that actually helps my fighting, but why not, eh? Safe crack. And demolitions, why not? Covenant. You've got brawling and pugilism. Picklock, dead weight, burden, gift your pugilism, misfortune, pugilism. I think I'll give the rifle to misfortune because why not? I should probably go to the shop while I'm here. Got a whole bunch of knives and crap that I don't want. One punch! There we go. Um, let's see now. Save and let's see. What do we want? An axe? No. Pickaxe? No. Oh, Ace has got the iron beam, huh? Okay. Christina, she probably has some crap. Robes. Robe. Robe. Her gun, books. Book, 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 knife, knife. Uh, 